Hello students, my name is Professor Muhammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIEO level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students, in last lecture we finished exercise 14.1 from chapter number 14 name differentiation 2. And the topic of exercise 4.1 was the derivative of exponential function. Today we are going to start exercise 4.2. And the topic you can see on the screen is derivatives of logarithmic function. That is derivative of natural log and derivative of common logarithm. The formula which we will use in the whole exercise is derivative of ln x is 1 upon x so whatever you are seeing after ln you must write it from 1 upon x so if you see ln x you have to write 1 upon x if you see ln 2x you have to write 1 upon 2x if you see ln 5x you have to write 1 upon 5x but into derivative of its function what does it mean C question number 1 exercise 14.2 C question number 1 part A differentiate with respect to x so ln 5x is equals to what is the derivative of ln 5x? You must write 5x into 1 upon 5x. But into derivative of its function. That is derivative of 5x. Means 5x derivative is 5. So 5 cancel by 5. Uh, sorry 5 cancel by 5. The answer is 1 upon x. This is our final answer. Part B. Derivative of ln 12x. So what the derivative that is 1 upon 12x into derivative of 12x that is 12. 12 cancel by 12. The answer is 1 upon x. This is our final answer. C. Derivative of ln 2x plus 3. It is 1 upon 2x plus 3 into 2. So the final answer is 2 upon 2x plus 3. Why we multiply by 2? Because the derivative of 2x plus 3 is 2. Derivative part d. 2 plus ln 1 minus x square. Derivative of 2 is 0 and ln of 1 minus x square is 1 upon 1 minus x square. In 2 minus x square derivative is minus 2x. The final answer is minus 2x upon 1 minus x square or you can write plus 2x upon x square minus 1 if you take common from the uh, take minus 1 common from the denominator then you can cancel that minus by the coefficient of x that is minus 2 so the final answer is 2x upon x square minus 1 part e ln 3x plus 1 whole square the derivative is 1 upon 3x plus 1 whole square into derivative of 3x plus 1 whole square that is 2 into 3x plus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 into derivative of 3x plus 1 that is 3 so the final answer is the final answer is 3 to the 6, 6 upon the 6, 6, 3x plus 1 upon 3x plus 1 whole square. This 3x plus 1 cancel by its square. So it is 6 upon 3x plus 1. This is our final answer. Move to part F. What is part F? 
ln x plus 2 ln of what must be right from 1 upon something that is 1 upon x plus 2 root into derivative of root x plus 2 that is 1 upon 2 x plus 2 x plus 2 root therefore the final answer is one upon x plus two multiplied by x plus two root root cancel the answer is two into x plus two and if you multiply two by x you will get two x two two is a four so one upon two x plus four is the final answer of part f c part g ln two minus five x power 4 that is 1 upon 2 minus 5x power 4 into write the derivative of 2 minus 5x to the power 4 that is 4 2 minus 5x power 3 into derivative of 2 minus 5x that is minus 5 so 2 minus 5x power 3 cancel by 4 4 into minus 5 is minus 20 minus 20 upon 2 minus 5x or you can write 20 and if you take minus common from 2 minus 5x it is 5 minus 2x and this minus cancel by the coefficient of 20 that is minus 1 so this is the answer just in your book but if you write this answer this is also acceptable move to part h Part h is 2x plus ln 4 upon x. 2x derivative is 2 plus ln 4 upon x is 1 upon 4 upon x into derivative of 4 upon x that is minus 4 upon x square. So you must have good command on the derivative. You must watch all lectures of chapter number 12. 1 upon 4 upon x is x upon 4 into minus 4 upon x square 4 cancel by 4 x by this so the answer is 2 minus 1 upon x this is final answer of part h move to part i 5 minus ln 3 upon 2 minus 3 x 5 derivative is 0 ln 3 upon 2 minus 3 x is 1 upon 3 upon 2 minus 3 x sorry mm. 2 minus 3 x into derivative of 3 upon 2 minus 3 x so 3 upon 2 minus 3 x d by dx of 3 upon 2 minus 3 x student the derivative of 3 upon 2 minus 3x must be evaluated with the help of quotient rule that is u upon v formula so u upon v formula is v square 2 minus 3x square v as it is into derivative of u derivative of 3 is 0 minus u as it is derivative of 2 minus 3x that is minus 3 so 0 multiplied by something is 0 minus minus plus 9 upon 2 minus 3x square. Hence our final answer is 0 minus 1 upon 3 upon 2 minus 3x is minus 2 minus 3x upon 3 into derivative of 3 minus 3 upon 2 minus 3x we just found. 9 upon 2 minus 3x whole square 3 3 is a 9 and 2 minus 3x cancel by its square so minus 3 upon 2 minus 3x or you can write 3 upon 3x minus 2 
this is the final answer of part i now move to part j Part J is ln ln s. Very easy. Focus on first ln. What you are seeing after this ln ln x. Therefore, the derivative is one upon ln x into derivative of the function. That is the derivative of this final ln x. That is one upon x. One one the one x into ln x is x. ln x this is our final answer so 1 upon x ln x is the final answer move to part k ln root x plus 1 whole square that is 1 upon root x plus 1 whole square now find the derivative of root x plus 1 whole square that is 2 Root x plus one into derivative of root x plus one that is one upon two root x, and the derivative of one is zero. So this is the complete derivative. Now root x plus one cancel by its square two by two. Therefore one one the one. The answer is root x into root x plus one. This is the final answer of part k. Now move to part L. Part L is ln x square plus ln x. Focus on first ln. What? Ever you see after ln must write in terms of denominator that is one upon x square plus ln x into derivative of x square plus ln x that is two x and derivative of ln x is one upon x is equals to now simplify it take the LCM of x. That is two x square plus one, and this this one x square plus ln x must be multiplied by x. That is x into x square plus ln x. So two x square plus one upon x into x square plus ln x is the derivative of ln x square plus ln x. So hope you enjoy the whole question number one. from part a to part l of exercise 4.2。So this is our today's class where we did all parts of question number 1. nowadays uh, i am not feeling well that's why i am do not doing too much work and not doing the work as in a full form of energy i am not full energetic nowadays so kindly pray, pray for me so that i can do more and more question in daily uh, basis classes so i will try to complete remaining question number 2 3 4 and 5 and 6 in 7 in next two lectures kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can good luck for next lecture